Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, let's talk about Lambda destinations and when you should use it. It was announced just before reInvent 2019 and it's a feature that allows you to configure a destination or target so that when an invocation succeeds or fails, the target will receive a notification. This works for async and stream-based invocations. So async triggers such as SNS, SES, S3, EventBridge, as well as stream-based targets such as Kinesis and DynamoDB streams, they are both covered, but not synchronous invocations from API Gateway or SQS. In terms of targets, you can use SNS, SQS, Lambda, as well as EventBridge, which is far more than the normal Lambda DLQs, which only supports SNS and SQS. The guys at Track10 wrote a really good post that covers some of the rough edges when it comes to Lambda destinations and has this helpful chart. I recommend that you give this post a read. So the big thing between the normal DLQ and the on failure Lambda destination is in the payload that is sent to the target. With DLQs, you get the actual invocation event that your function fails to process after all the retries, which is great because you don't lose them and can process them again, but you have no context as to why it failed in the first place. So you will have to go and figure that out from your logs. With destinations, you get much more information in the payload. Of course, there's the invocation event itself, but you also have the request context. And here we can see the function ARN and that it was forwarded to the on failure destination after three invocations. And that the response context tells us the version that was executed and that the error was an unhandled exception, the detail of which including the stack trace is in the response payload. So basically everything we need to figure out what happened during the last attempt to process this event. And once you enable a Lambda destination, you see in the monitoring tab for the function that you now have a destination delivery failures metric, which is important. It tells you when Lambda is not able to forward the event to the specified destination. This could be due to permissions or maybe it's getting throttled. Whatever the case, you should have an alarm against this metric when using Lambda destinations so that you don't end up losing events because eventually the Lambda service is going to stop retrying those failed deliveries. So compared to the normal DLQ, you have more targets with destinations and it supports stream based invocations as well as async. So for the purpose of capturing failed invocation events, you should be using Lambda destinations instead of DLQs. Although you could just use both side by side, but I don't see why you would do that in practice. But what about the on success destination? When should you use that? When you have a complex workflow, there's already step functions. But for those simple one hop workflows, step functions might be an overkill considering the actual complexity and cost it brings. So for this and only for this one hop workflows, I would suggest using the on success destination. Anything beyond that, you should still use step functions because of the actual control, visualization and auditing it gives you. 